What is going on guys? Lawson here and this morning we're on the beach and Zeke and I we're trying to see if we can get hooked into some big old sharks along the beach here. Got the big Saltiga, 8,000 Saltiga and right now we got a big old live bait swimming out and seeing if he'll find a shark for us. That's game plan. We're gonna get on it. Chicken and roaring. Yeah. All right, Zeke caught a little Jack Revolve first thing. We're first, we're gonna try to just live bait him out there with no weight or anything and see if he'll just swim out for us because it's a little rough today and so it's gonna be hard to keep anything on the bottom, but we'll see. The, the dream would be if little buddy would just swim straight out as far as possible. We'll see though. All right, real quick, while we wait for the bite to happen with our shark, we actually have a sponsor for today's video, Vikings War of Clans. So if you don't know what it is, it's a mobile game on your phone. It's based off of like old 90s strategy games. When I was younger, my brother and I, we used to play Command and Conquer and Ages of Empire. Those were like two of our favorite games and we spent so much time when we were kids playing them and that is what this game is like. What is really cool and makes the game a lot different than the old ones you played, you know, single player, is that there is over 20 million people, 20 million playing this freaking game. So the game is always changing the landscape and how everything's played, fighting for resources and all that stuff. And I've actually been playing a bit on my phone, like while I go to bed or when I'm taking a break from editing and stuff like that. And it's honestly really, really fun. Big thanks to them for supporting the channel. And if you guys want to support my channel, go click the link down below. Free download of the game, 200 coins to start you out with, a protective shield, and you can join my Viking clan, the Jack Daddies. That's what we're going to be called. So go download the link below and join the Jack Daddies with me and we can play together and that'd be super fun. Huge shout out for them for supporting the channel and supporting us because sponsors are what are gonna make this channel better and help us get new gear and cool trips. So huge shout out to them and huge shout out to you guys. Go check out the link below. And now we need to see if we can get on another shark. It already got picked up, dude. It already got picked up. Letting them eat. I can't. Oh! My God, I think I pulled it early. I you just gotta let them eat so long. It got picked up within being on the ground for 35 seconds. It just picked it up again. Look at my, are you kidding me? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There it is. This must be little. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I can't believe that happened that quick. Oh, yeah, baby. We're in it. Oh, we might get a jump out there. Oh, He's thrashing. Oh, he just broke oh. off. <laughs> he must have, uh, damn, he must have landed and tail whacked the uh, line or the leader, which is a surprise. It's 50 pound braid and 80 pound uh, mono, but we'll go a little heavier, I guess. I cannot believe how quickly. It was only about like a 45 pound black tip, but holy crap, <laughs> that was sick. All right, Zeke, you got next one. Because I flubbed it. Where did he break it at? Right at the, the swivel. Interesting. He must have like perfectly tail whacked the swivel or something. There has to be a bunch of them out there for them because I think one dropped it and then another one came and picked it up. Damn, son. All right, we're gonna put a strip of Benita out real quick while we try to catch another jack. 
All right, right now we need some more Jack or Ball. We used that first one and he got hit within like 10 seconds of being chopped up. So Zeke right now is actually holding a cut piece of Bonita out there. And it's been getting pecked at, but just by a little fish. So we're gonna try to pop up another Jack or Ball here. And I think that will get us back into the sharks. Big, it's not big. It might be a nurse shark. Like a little nurse shark coming in. That was on a uh, big strip of Benita, right? Yeah. What do you got here? I can't even see it. Jack. A jack picked up a strip of Benita off the bottom? Are you kidding me? I have never seen that before. Well, you got our bait for us. That is insane. <laughs> That's so funny. Zeke had like a, was, probably like a four ounce strip of Bonita sitting on the bottom and stuff pecked away at it and a jack came and ate the rest of it. Well, that solves our crisis of needing a bait though. We just flew the drone because I was sitting there, I was like, you know, Zeke, you hold the rod, I'm gonna fly the drone and just kill some time. And I put the drone up and I mean, probably saw over 150 sharks. And I realized, and this is what I was saying to Zeke the whole time, we're not out far enough, our bait's just not out far enough. And I was trying to be hopeful thinking, oh, maybe we'll get one to come in, but they are all just outside the break. So I took GoPro off, took my watch off, took the phone out of my pocket. I am wading out as far as I can possibly wade and then gonna sling it. It's very rough, so this will be, uh, this will be fun. All right, we had to take a brief intermission. I say brief, it was like five hours. So basically Zeke and I fished till around 12.30 in the afternoon and a bite really died. There were still sharks around, but they just weren't eating. So Zeke had to go to work, we went in, then I had to go actually record a podcast with somebody. And now I have about an hour of daylight left. And I'm back here on the beach, my beautiful, wonderful girlfriend is filming for me. And we're gonna see if we can catch that black tip or catch something. I don't want to cut bait right now. So I'm gonna throw the popper a little bit, or I might just rig up Cool tech right here on my big Daiwa and just beam this thing out there and see if I can get a shark to eat on an artificial because I really don't have that much time to spend time trying to catch a live bait. So I think we're gonna rig that up and see if we can get it on it. was a rough day I'll just be completely honest with you guys the past like three days the temperature in Florida has flipped a switch and it got very tough to catch fish the past few days I went out yesterday on the boat and fished for around nine and a half hours and caught two ladyfish and two jack creval about this big and a hardhead catfish fishing for ten hours Brutal day and then today got up at 5:30, spent six hours on the beach in the morning and then went back for another two hours and still 
nothing. I mean, it was awesome getting to jump off that first shark first thing in the morning. And if you guys saw from the drone footage, they are everywhere. And there's not a better time of year to try to catch a black tip. So don't worry. I know today's video was a little bit of a letdown. But all this means is we're going to be getting back out there and really really getting on some of these black tips and spending some time along the beach fishing for black tip sharks and fishing for other things bluefish pompano mackerel you name it i still wanted to put up the video because i thought it was interesting and doing something a little different that i normally don't do on my channel and that's part of life that's part of fishing is going out and sometimes the fish don't want to cooperate especially when you have tons of different weather patterns that's all part of the story i think to get out there and show you guys what's going on and i appreciate you guys so much hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like make sure you are subscribed to the channel below hit that little notification bell I appreciate you guys very much. Until the next video, peace.